<laughs> Hello and welcome to Veterans Medals Workshop hosted by Medals of America, which provides all of the medals, the badges, the insignia, and even the display cases, and Medals of America Press, which provides all of the information from great books like, I did get it up right, didn't I? The U.S. Army Medals, Badges, and Insignia, available for you on Amazon. One of the questions that I most frequently hear is, how do I find out the medals that my granddad or my dad earned during World War II as an Army veteran? Well, you learn, you learn those by taking a look at his DD-214 or the Department of Defense discharge certificate that every World War II veteran was issued when he was discharged or she was discharged. The DD-214 uh, has all of the information related to their awards, or does it? Actually, it is if you know where to look, but often you'll only see three or four of the awards when they may be authorized more. And I'll give you a specific example. We're going to take a look at a PFC DD-214. I'm going to show you how to read it, what to look for. You're going to see that he came home from World War II with just four ribbons for his service. When in reality, he's authorized six medals, and I'll show you that. So let's go take, oh, wait, before we do that, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go take a look. Many viewers ask for detailed information about determining a veteran's military awards. As I mentioned earlier, the key is a DD-214 or equivalent. And we're going to take a look at a typical World War II DD-214 with the individual's name removed, but it's a great example of a need to be able to translate the military abbreviations of a period and figure out what may be missing. In this case, we'll find the clues that tell you that this soldier is authorized two more medals than it's indicated, and one of them being the Bronze Star. So, let's take a detailed look. Just below where the veteran's name is, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that he was assigned to a medical detachment in the 194th Glider Infantry. A quick check on Google of the 194th Glider Infantry will tell you that it was assigned to the 17th Airborne Division. Next, we come down a few lines to Box 30, which indicates that he was a truck driver, an ambulance most likely, and Box 31 shows he was paratrooper qualified which means that he was authorized to wear the basic parachute badge as shown. Next, we come down to box 32 and 33, which are the ones that you will always be most interested in as they identify decorations and awards. Box 32 says he served in three campaigns, Rhineland, Ardennes, and Central Europe, and box 33 indicates the three bronze stars for the above campaign, but does not identify the campaign ribbons and medals until the remarks in box 35, we'll take a look at in just a second. But from these, it does identify the award of a Good Conduct Medal, followed by the MED badge, which at that time, it was a new badge, and that means a medical combat medical badge, citing the general order by which it was awarded. And it also notes the award of a Glider badge in 1944. And then we get all the way down to the bottom of the form in box 55, the remarks section, and it indicates he was issued the honorable discharge lapel pin, also known as the ruptured duck, and you will see the cloth version on the right side of his uniform. And it also states he's authorized the American Theater Campaign Ribbon, the European African Middle Eastern Theater Campaign Ribbon, two overseas service bars, and they're shown on the lower left side of his sleeve, and a victory ribbon. Notice there's no reference to the word medals because many of the medals such as, well, the ETO medal of the American Theater Campaign Medal or the victory medal were not minted until 1947. And this is where you have to start learning your way around the DD-214 because you need to go back to Block 32 that lists the battles and campaigns, in this case, Rhineland, Ardennes, and Central Europe, and figure that those three Bronze stars, mentioned in 33, go on the ETO medal, the European Middle East Campaign Medal. And so instead of just a blank ribbon or medal, it would have three bronze campaign stars. Here's another little challenge, and I just want to use this as an example. A tank unit commander who was wounded in the Ardennes and sent home, uh, he received under his decorations and citations a Purple Heart, 
a ETO service medal. They don't call it the European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal. They call it the ETO. And in fact, there are a number of different variations for the ETO medal, such as shown here, the E-A-M-E-C-M or the E-A-M-E or E-T-O. As a matter of fact, most of the DD-214s will use abbreviation, and in this example, where you can see how many abbreviations there are, the European African Middle Eastern Campaign Medal could have three different abbreviations or partially use of its full name. Now here is where you have to do a little detective work to figure out if the individual was authorized the Occupation Medal for World War II. And it would not be on the DD-214 because, well, the medal wasn't established till after the war. The trick is to look in this particular case, Block 36, where it says service outside the continental United States and return. And it indicates that he went to the ETO Theater in 1944, and he came back in August of 1945. Well, the war ended in Germany in May of 1945, so that means that he more than qualified for the 30 days occupation duty in Germany, and so he would be authorized the occupation medal. The point here is you have to do a lot of cross-checking and cross-indexing on the DD-214 to figure out the awards actually authorized. And that brings us to the next interesting medal that wasn't authorized until two years after the war. In 1947, the Army authorized the Bronze Star Medal for Meritorious Service to all of the soldiers who had been awarded the Combat Infantry Badge or the Combat Medical Badge. In our case, our man had won the combat medical badge, so he is now also authorized the Bronze Star Medal. So our PFC in the 17th Airborne Division came home with four ribbons and three badges, and today he would be authorized two additional medals, the Bronze Star Medal and the Occupation of Germany Medal. It's nice to see our veteran of the 17th Airborne Division, especially that participated in Operation Varsity in World War II, receive the awards for which he is due. Well, of course, a lot of veterans' families are going to say, what about fighting in the Pacific Theater? Well, here's a good example. I made an excerpt from a soldier who served in the Pacific Theater. Under battles and campaigns, he's authorized one campaign star for the Battle of the Southern Philippines. And under decorations and citations, it only shows the Asiatic Pacific Theater ribbon with one star, the Good Conduct Medal, the Philippine Liberation ribbon with one star, and the Combat Infantry Badge. Well, by now you understand that with the Combat Infantry Badge, he was also authorized in 1947 the Bronze Star for Meritorious Service. Nor does it mention the American Campaign Medal, which he would have received for the period of training in the United States. And it does not list the Victory Medal, which he would have received automatically at the end of World War II. So instead of the three ribbons he came home with, he's really authorized six medals, as shown here. And here's a quick review of the World War II medals, the Good Conduct Medal. The American Defense Service Medal, which was awarded for service prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor on 7 December 1941. The unique Women's Army Corps Medal, which was only authorized for women soldiers. The American Campaign Medal for service in the American theater. The European African Middle East Campaign Medal. The Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal. The World War II Victory Medal the World War II Occupation Medal, which came into effect after the war, and then two foreign awards, the Philippine Defense Medal and the Philippine Liberation Medal, which soldiers receive depending on their service there. While most of our World War II veterans have received their final military honors, it's a very nice thing for families to do to preserve the memory of their service with a display case of their medals. So now that you've learned how to decode and read the DD-214 to determine a veteran's honors, let's take a look at some of the display cases that veterans have put together. This shadow box shows the service of a sergeant in the 45th Infantry Division. It has his Good Conduct Medal, American Campaign, his European African Middle East Campaign Medal with Battle Stars, his Victory Medal, and his Occupation of Germany Medal along with his shooting badges and his honorable discharge pin. 
The award the best veteran who served in the Pacific Theater show his Good Conduct Medal is American Defense Medal, which indicates that he was on active duty before World War II started, is American Campaign Medal for service in the continental United States, is Pacific Theater Medal, is World War II Victory Medal, is Liberation of the Philippines Medal, and then two commemorative medals, one to show combat service and one for victory over Japan. Here's a beautiful example of a display case of a veteran of the 82nd Airborne Division. Uh, it's kind of unique because in those days they wore the parachute badge above the combat infantry badge. But you can see his bronze star, his good conduct medal, his American campaign. Six campaign stars and an airhead to indicate an assault landing. In the bottom row, his occupation of Germany, his World War II victory medal, and then an award of the Croix de Guerre from Belgium and from France along with his ribbons. Here's a very handsome shadow box in memory of a staff sergeant who served in the 25th Tropical Lightning Division and the Americal Division in the Pacific Theater. He's got the Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, his Good Conduct Medal, his American Campaign, multiple awards of the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, the Victory Medal, along with two Philippine medals. And then finally to wind up, probably one of the most unique display cases that I have seen where this soldier's family put his uniform, his medals, his badges, his patches, his rank insignia, and even his dog tags into a very handsome shadow box. After seeing that World War II veteran's uniform, you might be interested to know that the Army is returning to the World War II type uniform. On the left is a World War II uniform. On the right is the new Army uniform. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today for our show on how to read a U.S. Army World War II DD-214 to determine the medals that the veteran actually is authorized. I hope you found this interesting, and don't forget, you can find out even more details to include a all the shoulder sleeve insignias for World War II Army veterans. Right here in this new book, U.S. Army Medals, Badges, and Insignia, available for you on Amazon. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time. Special thanks to Medals of America for providing all of the medals, ribbons, and shadow box displays that you saw today.